Howdy, Firewood Loopers. You've happened upon the Good Samaritan Firewood Project. Welcome. Hi, I'm Sean, and we're so very glad you could join us today for another adventure here at the Good Samaritan Firewood Project. The calendar says spring, but there's still folks out here in Otsego County in central New York who need the warmth. Um, it'll be some time before we get those spring-like temperatures, and our goal here at the Good Samaritan Firewood Project is spreading the warmth to our neighbors and putting smiles on people's faces. Speaking of smiles, you know what we'll put one on our face? For you to like, comment, and subscribe in our videos. And please share us with your friends. Expand our community here that we're creating at the Good Samaritan Firewood Project. The more, the merrier. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this week's video. Get along, little doggy.
Well, folks, today we're going to be talking about firewood inspiration. Not perspiration, because there's a lot of perspiration. This is inspiration. And what do I mean by inspiration? I want to mean basically the people that in this YouTube world that inspired us to make a move, to get it going, to get it started. We've been uh, making videos now for a couple of months and um, we're having, having a lot of fun doing it. And it kind of all started, uh, I'm thinking shortly before, before COVID hit. Uh, I really started getting into, into YouTube, uh, a number of different things, but I I finally found my way to the firewood and, uh, and I, I mean, I love firewood. Just, uh, I thought it would be, uh, I guess I thought it would be a nice thing to do. We've got lots of wood. Some people don't have any wood. They need wood. We'll bring them the wood. It's, you know, kind of a simple process to, uh, to try to help some folks. So there's a number of different YouTube channels that I, that I watch, but the ones that come to immediate mind is the, the, uh, the Stony Ridge Farmer um, is one of one of my early favorites. Uh, I also right away got into um, Dude Ranch DIY, and uh, it's interesting how I don't you know I'm not going from a script that I that I have uh, all of these different people and uh, I have two particular that that I wanted to to recognize, but. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of a lot of people that uh, that inspired us, but none inspired us more than than Joe at Ohio Woodburner and Chris at in the window in the woodyard. And um, I wanted to do something when we were talking about getting the whole channel together, and you know, we wanted to be interesting. We wanted to be have a you know a little bit of humor in there and. Uh, try to make it worthwhile for you folks to come back and visit us and uh, so I wanted to do something special my, my two fav my two favorites absolute favorite is, is Joe at the Ohio Woodburner because uh, he's just I just love the way that he uh, looks at things and analyzes things in, in a much different way than a, than a lot of us do and his business principles are you know, just spot on and Chris in the woodyard uh, the man works like a fiend I, you know to have that kind of a work ethic my god he just goes and goes and goes he can't stop and and that, that amazes me uh, so and Chris of course plays a his video every morning at uh, I guess it's 530 central time and uh, 630 here in uh, central New York and uh, you know I, I catch it just about every day and all of those I've caught just about the other day. The other one that comes to mind that, that, that skyrocketed uh, is uh, Firewood at the Furnace with Brad. Uh, you know, uh, uh, just seeing how he grew and, 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 and the fact that the, the most of these guys just keep their wood yards immaculate. Not, not that ours is, of course, but uh, we were, we're not trying to emulate that. But we do want to say thank you we did want to do something a little bit different and a little bit special. So at the end of every one of our videos, you may have noticed that uh, at the end, we'll uh, we'll sneak in a little uh, say good night, Mabel. What did I say? Hello, huh? Good night, Mabel. Good night, Mabel. Mabel for Chris, because I didn't want to. I didn't want to say uh, just just take Irene, even though he's taken Irene, because that that's I mean that's throwing this from I think the 1920s, but uh, I just didn't want to totally just steal, you know, somebody's idea. So I made it a little bit different, put my own little or we put our own little brand on it, and uh, you know we just we smile. With that being said, thank you, Joe. Thank you, Chris. We are elevating you in our world and uh, 
our way of, of letting you guys know that you're you're special and uh, you inspired us and we hope that perhaps this will inspire you to uh, like subscribe and share so we hope you enjoyed our little bit you know on uh, honoring two of the folks that uh, most I think emulate quality got a hard worker in there and you and then you, and of course Joe's a hard worker too but Joe's more of a more of a thinker and we're lucky to know both of you and, and gentlemen thank you good night Mabel <laughs>